everybody, J and A Review, and today we're at Great American RV here in Huntsville, Alabama. If you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us a thumbs up. Today we're going to be looking at a 2024 Heartland Bighorn Traveler, model number 32RS. So let's take a look. The length on this one is 36 feet, 2 and 3 eighths. 3 eighths? 2 and 3 eighths. Really? That's what was on the website, two okay. and three eighths inches. <laughs> Dry weight is 10,803 pounds and at hitch weight is 2,047. All right. Yes, he's second guessing what I wrote down. <laughs> two and three eighths, That's, really? It was very specific. Okay. Well, right up here at the front, uh, here's where all of your hydraulics are gonna be for your leveling. Uh, nice big access area that's going to be um, connected to your pass-through and down here should be able yes to add a generator if you would like to mm. um, again wow. just keep in mind that's going to change your hitch weight a little bit now this is going to have six point hydraulic leveling here is your first 30 pound propane tank your leveling system is going to be right up here uh, just nice big pass-through area lots and lots of storage space your wet bay area is going to be right next to it we'll have an outside shower um your satellite and cable hookups are behind those little control um covers there oh let's see wow. yeah super nice uh your dump area it's going to be right here very easy to get to look down the side here and let's go around the back real quick your electric plug is going to be right back here big window prepped for a backup camera and the Lippert ladder and you are going to be able to add um, an accessory rack here but this is not for towing well, that's a pretty unit they are pretty. Now coming down here on your campsite, your awning is 16. 16 feet. So power awning with an LED light strip. And your spare, you're gonna be able to see it right under there. Um, and they also put the leash hook right under there. Hmm. And you notice that the drop frame is basically right there where your generator will go. Yeah. All right, this is the other side of your pass-through storage. Here's your solar controls and where you can add another TV out here if you would like. Here is your other 30-pound propane tank. And, wow, just, you've got all these windows over here. So, hey, let's go inside and take a look at this one. Well, you know what we did. Found another one. I found another one. Uh, again, I just love these traditional uh, rear living layouts. So, we'll, hey, start, start at the back like we okay. usually do. This dude has got to be 101 wide. I think it's probably going to be 101 wide. It's very wide uh, and very tall. <laughs> so, you got nice tall storage up here. A couple of cabinets, a couple of um, open areas. Big windows. Um, I kind of like that they gave you a pattern back here. Oh, it's, sure. it's, um, I mean, it's neutral enough that you can put whatever color you want with it, but it's, it's interesting enough to kind of catch your eye. You're gonna have a three cushion, tri, uh, trifold sofa. Mm -hmm. So, big one. Um, probably will make out to a queen size bed if I'm guessing. You've got your uh, heat vent there in the floor power and USB on both sides of this sofa. Your front, your front slide here, you're gonna have your theater seating, nice big storage in between for all your remotes, cup holders. You're gonna have a table with chairs and there should be two more chairs. We'll see if we can locate those as we go through. But huge, huge window. So you're gonna be able to look out over your campsite and uh, just have a great view out these windows. Now, taking a seat. Whew. 
I have lost count of how many we've done today. So I really, I really am enjoying this seat. But <laughs> here's your theater. Um, I just drew a blank. I'm in the theater seat looking at the entertainment center. Yeah, there you go. <sighs> oh, come on in there. This is a bad time for me to give up my Diet Mountain Dews. I'm just telling y'all. Y'all have no idea. I'm, I'm struggling today. But you got a nice big TV there. Uh, JBL sound system underneath a couple of speakers. So that's a really great uh, feature. Nice fireplace. Give you some extra heat on those cooler mornings. Uh, this island here in the middle has kind of got a little bit of a farm style um, uh, look going to it. You got a couple of plug-ins on both ends. Solid surface countertops here. Really, really nice. These are really nice um, countertops. Large single basin sink with a pull down faucet. Back here in your cook area, you've got storage on both sides of your microwave. Nice big microwave. Uh, Nice sale, oh, yes. nice sale price on this too. Yes, Again, if you have any questions, always, always go to their website and look it up. Everything you'll need to know is on there. Uh, this is going to have a three burner cooktop with an oven and storage on both sides of that. And there's a matching drawer below oh, the stove. Stainless. I like this stainless, stainless steel, steel drawer. drawer. That is so cool. It is cool. Now on this side of your island, you've got some drawers here. And nice opening drawer. Yes, they glide open real well. And nice open space under the sink for a garbage can. There we go. What do you call this? The apron? apron uh, style? yeah, your apron style sink, and it's in this black um, stainless finish. That's pretty nice. Ooh, like that. All right. Over here is your front door refrigerator. Hair. Hair with uh, two pull-out drawers. You would have been out here on this lot so long, you didn't start getting tickled. Ah, uh, yes. Everything's funny at this point. Right hair. next to that, hair. well, it is hair. That's how you pronounce it. That's what I said, hair. Um, right next to that, you've got a couple, this is kind of narrow, but if you take a lot of cooking sheets or something, um, that'd be great storage for that. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to use that as your pantry because you have an actual pantry and it's really nice it goes ceiling almost ceiling the floor Ooh. um almost hey all right yeah i got storage up here your controls are covered up by the door it's really nice so they're not just out in the open this really cool coffee bar here um uh, wireless charging with a plug-in two drawers down below it of course your um fuses are going to be right at the very bottom. Okay. So let's head up the stairs. Here we go. All right, moving on up. Oh, not that again. All right, here's um AC control. Now, I just I just really really love their surround that they put in here. Yep. Um again, it's it's neutral enough that you can use whatever color you want, but it's it's just interesting. I like it. Now, Jeremy's six feet tall, and if you can see, I mean, he's got, you know, got a few more inches with that um, skylight up there. Not bad at all. Not bad at mm -hmm. all. It does have the frosted glass on the doors. Your linen closet over here uh, is really more cubbies. It's it's all open, but they give you this really nice shelf here like with this. a couple of hooks. Oh, and there's another light up there that we... We don't have any lights on in here. Come to think. Oh, there oh we go. well, there they are. Well, <laughs> over here is going to be your medicine cabinet with um, a mirror, a couple of uh, shelving areas in here. Nice big sink. I love that they I give you a big sink. sink that you can actually get your hands in. Storage underneath it. Um, you can see that he's got plenty of leg room down here. Yep. So uh, there's your heating right there vent so well done well done uh coming into the bedroom first thing you're gonna see is you actually got a plug in right there so that's nice and convenient this is gonna have a king size bed on a slide your uh shelves on each side are actually solid surface and you've got uh your reading lights up there you got a really neat accent light behind the headboard there that is just so cool 
That is kind of cool. We saw like that, that. On the one before. Work. I like that. Uh, here's going to be your second AC up here. Do have storage below, and there's your extra chairs if you need them. You see, they're all strapped in, ready to go. Oh, let me see around here. At the foot of the bed, we're going to have a wow. six drawer dresser and another one of those really neat wireless charging ports right there. Cool. If you want to add a TV in here, I guess it will go right up there so your connections are all wired up and ready to go. This is that's your wine that's your guard. guard. Yeah. Yes. Um, I noticed that in another one. I didn't point it out, so sorry about that. All right. In here. Wild. Yes. This is going to be prepped for a stackable washer dryer. Or you could do a combo unit if you would like. Connections are already in here. Um, over here, you're going to have two sliding. It's a sliding, two sliding mirror doors. I say that real fast. But you're going to have a hanging rod and a shelf up here. Lots of space down here at the bottom to add things like shoes or totes if you need them. All right. I like it. I like this one too. This door is going to have a... Uh, sliding door to get into the bedroom. So while he's turning off everything, I'll just tell you that this is a really pretty layout and I think you guys would enjoy looking at this one. All right, everybody, if you like this uh, Bighorn Traveler, the dealership's information will be down in our description. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us. Thanks, everybody.